EA Sports continues to excite and enrage as it prepares to drop the first college football video game since 2013. On Thursday, EA Sports released offensive and defensive ratings, the top 25 in each category. We talked about the offense. Now let's talk about the defense. Not a surprise here. Ohio State at number one, 96 overall, the highest rated unit in the game. So the highest rated offenses were at 94. The highest rated unit period is Ohio State's defense. And that is not a surprise because if you look at that thing in real life, well, it's loaded. It is a bunch of dudes who could be in the NFL right now who came back. That would be your JT2 Malau, your Jack Sawyer, your Denzel Burke. It's also the addition of perhaps the most impactful transfer in college football this year in Caleb Downs from Alabama, the safety, who might, have, might be the best safety in the country. And what he does for that defense, because what Caleb Downs allows you to do is move Sonny Styles to linebacker. It makes them probably the best 11 that you're going to see in the country this year. It is, uh, it, it, it's a formidable defense. It's why Ohio State is considered a front runner for the national title. Like that makes perfect sense. Georgia number two at 94. So Georgia is your probably best overall team here. So they have a 94 offense, which is tied for first with Oregon and 94 defense. And it's, look, it's a Kirby smart Georgia defense. They're loaded. Michael Williams, Smile Munden, just stars all over the board. And then whoever else is going to pop in, like, Maybe somebody gets hurt and some freshman comes in and, oh, yeah, he's going to be a first rounder too. Like, that is what we've come to expect from Georgia's defense. And I think, you know, you look at the way EA Sports does this game. They use PFF data, pro football focus to, to determine guys who, you know, how, how good guys are who've been playing college football. Uh, they look at recruiting rankings. So they understand the quality of who's coming in at these places. So that they understand that Georgia, top to bottom, great on defense. How about Oregon? at a 90 overall. So Oregon also one of the best top to bottom teams in the game because they're at 94 on offense. And then defensively, you got Jordan Birch coming back, rushing the passer. Uh, you've got some, you know, they, they add guys in the secondary. They add guys at linebacker. This is a, this is a team that could be pretty good, but with the defenses, I'll say this from, from having played the game a little bit when I got to go down to Orlando and test it out, now, it, it, I didn't pay as, as much attention to individual player rankings because they said they weren't necessarily finalized on that stuff yet. But in terms of gameplay, if you haven't played in a while or if you've just been playing Madden, you will notice that you've got to work harder to make tackles in this game. Like they have, and, and this is something that's been in Madden where you use one of the sticks to move to the nearest defensive player, to take control of him, to make the tackle. They want you to have to actually take a, a, an active role in making the tackle. So it matters how good your defensive players are. And it also matters because they, they've changed the way the individual matchups works. There, there, there are more outcomes. There are more outcomes in, say, a running back or ball carrier versus a tackler situation. There's a lot more opportunities for that guy to bounce off of you. And so you're going to need highly rated defensive players and so this is this is important. And I mean, the the other top, you know, top 10 teams on defense, not really surprising. Uh, Alabama, Clemson, Notre Dame's defense is going to be fantastic. They bring almost everyone back. Uh, Michigan, you know how I feel about Kenneth Grant and Mason Graham. And, and it's I, I do wonder as they're programming the game, like how do you make as dominant as those two are? How do you make them that dominant? Do, do you can you make them? equivalent to how dominant they are in real life where you have to really game plan around them where I don't think it's going to be very easy to run the ball inside on Michigan in real life. I'd imagine it's very difficult in the game. One that I saw that might be a little low Iowa at 13, like listen, put Iowa's offense at number 140 or what 134 is the lowest you can put it, but don't do that to Iowa's defense. Don't do that to Phil Parker. And I realize coordinators aren't in the game, but defensively, Iowa is going to be just fine. Like they, you got to put them in the top 10. Like they just churn out great defenses every single year. Another one that caught my eye. Well, it's, it's two of them actually. And 
it's interesting because these two teams meet in real life in week one. USC at 16 and LSU at 18. So both of these defenses were awful last year. Both of them have changed coaching staffs. USC, I think, has overhauled more through the transfer portal in terms of personnel, especially uh, you look at the secondary. It, it just looks different. It's a bunch of long corners. Like Danton Lynn definitely understands what he wants there uh, and what he wants it to look like. So I could maybe see USC jumping, but that that's that's expecting a lot from them. And I don't know if it's a case of, you know, a lot of team, people are going to want to play as USC. You just want to make it more fun to play as them. Or you think that defense is going to be considerably better. The other one's LSU at 18. Now, LSU has the guy defensively, like if you want to pick a guy to play as, he's one of the guys that you want to play as, and that's Harold Perkins. And what's interesting here is we've criticized LSU, especially last year, for not using Harold Perkins correctly in real life. Well, in the video game, you can choose how to use Harold Perkins. So this defense was abysmal last year. It was awful. As good as the LSU offense was, this defense was as terrible. So how much better are they going to be? Blake Baker comes in as the coordinator. Personnel-wise, they did not change that much. So why are they, why are they considered so good in the game? I, I'm not exactly sure why, but my guess is one of the one of the reasons is you can decide how you use Harold Perkins, and like I think in real life, if they use Harold Perkins as more of a see ball get ball wreak havoc type of player, it makes their whole defense better. But now you get to choose how that happens. Like for me, if I'm playing as LSU. Harold Perkins will be the player I control on every play when I'm on defense because he can do the most things. He can cause the most havoc. So who knows? Maybe Blake Baker will wind up impersonating a couple hundred million video gamers because I guarantee you that's how everybody else is going to play the game too. Like when we get LSU and we're on defense, we are going to go right to Harold Perkins and we're going to Go right at that quarterback. Maybe LSU does that in real life. We shall see. But I will say, if USC and LSU end up having the 16th and 18th best defenses in the country in real life, be some happy fans at those schools. Happy, happy fans, because those teams are going to be pretty damn good. So we will find out. But get ready. Now you know a little more about how good the offenses are, how good the defenses are. That game's coming out next month. Who's your team going to be? Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here so you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on 3. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On 3 Sports YouTube channel.